Okay, folks, I'm back in Catacastrum, and I uh, wanted to show you another quest you can do at the same time. You were doing the Guard Captain Parvis quests about killing the different Schissers, uh, battling the Schisser, where you kill uh, five each of five different types, uh, the Serpent Slayer, where you just kill 20 uh, Schisser of any type. And then uh, beheading the snake, in which you kill the commander uh, Zosarishism. <laughs> These names. Anyway, uh, this quest involves killing or collecting or something to do with, with the Schisser. So that means if you kill any along the way, which you most likely will, it will count towards the... Uh, Serpent Slayer quest of thinning the Schisser where you have to kill 20 of any type. So from the uh, zone in place where the video started, you come to the opposite side of the giant pyramid. Come in the entrance here and take a right. And there's a bunch of NBCs, quest givers, mission givers, this kind of stuff. We're going to come over here to Alchemist Hesia. Hesia? 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 He said, she said. And uh, we shall go ahead and give her a hail. And she says, I simply don't have time for this nonsense. I didn't spend years cultivating new strains of herbs for my experiments just to have them cared for and properly by a mess of snakes. I have some very important tests to run, and with the greenhouse under their control, you know, for all I know, my herbs could be dead by now, trampled by those careless buffoons. And so we'll click on greenhouse, and she says, uh, We build a small but simply lovely greenhouse for my experiments, which are, the utmost, which are of the utmost importance. The life of, or someone very important, hinges upon them. Anyway, it is the culmination of my most recent work, and I simply must have those herbs. For you in Britain, that's herbs. All right, there are four new strains that I need to run tests with. And they were just about ready last week. If I don't get my hands on them soon, I will have to start all over. I cannot have this kind of setback right now. Someone must retrieve those samples. So, we tell her we will. And she says, would you? There are a number of herb tenders and alchemists in the greenhouse now, as though the Schisser could possibly be as advanced as I. They have no idea what they're doing over there. Please hurry and bring me back a sample each of sting thistle, worm vine, bleak wart, and blue aloe. So, there you go. Uh, let's see if I can get a dark background here. Uh, herb retrieval. Explore the overtaken greenhouse. So you got to get there first. And, along with that let's hop over here and go back up the pyramid here here I'll go third person and we'll hop over the wall over here And over. Alright. Now I'm going to bring up my map here. I don't have an outline of the zone, but it's basically a giant uh, circle uh, with two or three inner rings to it, which are walls, some of which you can get through doorways and some of which you can't. So you may, it's almost like a maze, you, you might get stuck and stuff. Uh, basically, where we're going is completely opposite of this main gate that you see ahead of you. Now you can go at this point right here and you can go to the left or the right. Let's see if we can see it from here. Yeah, not really. Yeah, that's all right. Anyway, you can go out through the inner ring uh, to the left or right, or you can go further down here 
and go through the doors to the outer ring. Uh, previous quest, I went to the left. Let's go to the right. Not any faster. It's just a different, different route. Uh, once I'm to the door, I'm gonna kind of cut it short and zip ahead so you don't have to see the exact route I travel. Uh, if you do not want to fight any mobs of any type uh, on your way traveling there, you don't have to. There's plenty of space to go around stuff. There are a few roamers, but you can see them ahead of time. Uh, I'm doing this quest as a level 92. Again, I'm doing this as a slightly higher level just so it goes quickly. So you don't have to watch me spend five minutes killing just one thing. And you can see right out the door, you can get right into the action here if you want to. So, all right. Uh, you can invis, which I'm going to do. And I'm conning it, and it's all indifferent. Some of these are healers, some are not. But anyway, basically we are going to just go out here and we just have to travel in this gigantic circle. All right. I'm going to stop here just for a second so you can see the perimeter wall and you can see all the fish and everything. They put a little thought into this back when they made the zone. It's actually a pleasant zone. It's It's huge, but I like it. And it looks like we have maybe a bard or a warrior or somebody. Maybe they're having a good old time killing stuff here. Well, not looting anything. Well, anyway, I'll see you when we get close to it. Okay, wanted to show you where I where I am. Uh. This is that arena uh, area where the uh, commander Zisser Shrizem, <laughs> I can't pronounce his name, the commander, the Shisser commander is. He's inside of there. So if I turn around and face this direction, uh, you can see there's this kind of this bridged monolith area over here. The next little area over is the greenhouse. Now, I used to have it on my map here, but apparently there was a bug or something, and it's gone. Maybe I marked it and didn't save my map in time. But uh, anyway, you can see that we're, the gate that we came out of was uh, way down here on, on the bottom side of this map. And now, here's my arrow. I know it's hard to see. We are at the opposite side of it. So it's actually slightly quicker to go out the uh, left left gate, left set of gates to get over here, but not by much, just by a few seconds. You can see the domed, ornate dome to this thing. Okay, lots of little elementals and. Dark mud slaves, water elementals, air elementals, fire elementals. Okay, I am going to try and mark my map again. Since I'm here, we can see a schisser in there. And I'm going to pull up my label thing where it says add label. And I'm going to put green house and I'm going to make that a medium label hit OK and then save map and then check my map and sure enough it says greenhouse so now I can get rid of my map and it said uh, task stage complete and so on herb retrieval and so now it says uh, collect one each of the stink thistle, bleak wart, blue aloe and worm vine so uh, looks like here's an herb tender. Let's go ahead and kill him and see what he, what he's got. Again, I'm level 92, uh, but uh, this stuff, these mobs are in the low to mid 70s, 
but even at 92, they are still conning green and even the occasional one light blue. So you can still get experience off this stuff. And you throw in these quests, add it all together, uh, along with uh, currently, this is uh, March of 2018, and it is the 19th anniversary for EverQuest, which is just amazing this game has lasted that long. Uh, they are having a 50% uh, uh, experience bonus. So, all right, let's see what we got. Got some Schister Scale, some Schister Me, Animal Venom and Curzon, and Bleakwort, which I did not loot. But I will loot now. Okay, three more and we're done with this thing. And uh, I'm sorry, I, I was going to show you uh, for the Serpent Slayer quest where you thin the Schister ranks. Uh, you got to kill 20. I had 18 out of 20, and that did count towards uh, the total. So, again, you can multi-task, multi-quest this stuff, so to speak. Not really multi-quest, but uh, it's nice It's nice in this zone that you can do three, four, five, six different quests all at the same time. I'm going to refresh a few buffs here. Just to make this go a little quicker. All right, this is Sting Thistle. So we've got two of the four. Now, I did this quest for the first time years and years ago. Two, three years ago, maybe. Uh... I remember not getting all four of what I needed. I got some repeats. And so I had to wait for some of them to respawn. But that wasn't a problem because there's so many other uh, mobs around this greenhouse that you can kill. There's other Schisser and there's a ton of those elementals. And uh, respawn time on some of that stuff is actually pretty quick it's like eight minutes or less maybe six minutes for some of the elementals but some of the schisser tend to be a little longer i i'm i'm sorry to say i never did an actual uh count on that but uh see there's a repeat of bleak wart Yeah, I'm going to help him out a little, little bit here. Let's speed this along. There we go. That is blue aloe, so now all I need is worm vine. So, one, two, three. At least three shifts are here. Maybe even a fourth hiding somewhere. So, got a good shot of getting it. But no guarantee. Like I'm gonna have to put some buffs on my pet here. I'll put velocity, which is basically a spirit of wolf spell for pets. This is worm vine. Well, there you go. Task stage complete. So now all I have to do is deliver those back to Alchemist Hesia. 
And we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this guy. And refresh my personal buffs. And I'll meet you back at the tournament. Okay, we are back at the entrance to the pyramid. Come to the right here. Come up to the alchemist. Open a bag. And let's hand her something and see what happens. Half stage completed. Okay, Let's see what she offers us here. Of course, faction or experience. Alright. She offers us a smooth urn handle, dusty pottery shard, dusty pottery fragment, dusty pottery splinter, dusty pottery piece, dusty pottery chip, or 75 plat, which is the one I'm going to take. Uh, approximately 0.8% of the experience required to go from level 75 to 76. Again, I'm level 92. I am at 69 and 95. 69 and 96. So 1%. So, there we go. That was an easy 1%. Uh, again, I combined the quest uh, you know, along with the other killing of the Schisser and stuff, so easy money. Uh, the bank and the merchants, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, right there's the entrance. There we go. There's the entrance. You know, come over here to the right through this narrow little doorway. You can go left or right down the ramp. Down the ramp again, and you will come to another doorway. And if you come over here to this dude, he is a merchant, historian Divinicus. And remember, I looted those uh, additional uh, quest items, and you cannot sell them. Zero copper, zero copper, zero copper. So, uh, you just need one of each and you can destroy the rest. And you can see where I've been selling stuff, uh, to this merchant. And, uh, in a previous video, I mentioned about how you can come in here and buy, uh, trade skill items, uh, such as titanium ore instead of farming it. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, it was actually on the merchant's outside, but I did get a few off of him earlier. I got 923 this round. Uh, it's about week, week and a half from the time I actually made that previous video. So, no sense on spending days, hours, weeks, months farming titanium or if you need it for trade skills. Just wait a little bit. Uh... Take an alt or something, park it in this zone to uh, check the merchants. Got a bank right here. Uh, and just stick it in your bank. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and I uh, hope you learned something. Like and subscribe and tell your friends. See you next time.